All right. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's been a while, probably about a week or easily two. Um, I have just been, after completing the movie library, making a very bad, um, just a graphical interface. Um, what I did was, I did find myself kind of resisting, like, going away from the project and just because it was like oh god i just built something like the worst thing and um i didn't exactly know what to improve on like the aligning the posters etc cetera, etc cetera. like that was all like getting a bit um like too too redundant so i just stepped away from it for a little bit and what i instead did was hold on, i'm just trying to get my obs to show i just want to see if my video yes my audio is recording perfect um so what I did was I went away from that and then um I went back to yeah I uh I focused a little bit on job applications for some reason I'm having a mind blank but I do remember what I did was I was just thinking okay I have um just developed this I know where I'm standing like in terms of my skill set for OOP I'm just gonna try like just tinkering around just to kind of expose myself a little bit more to what's out there. Um, so in that pursuit, I went ahead and created like a, like a followed a quick um, pandas tutorial. Uh, Keith Galley, I think his name is. Um, that you can find it on my repo. Just following that just to make a sales related analytics um, quick program. It didn't really use OOP, but it was just kind of learning just uh, pandas, something that I've seen um, and actually used um, quite 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 a bit. And then uh, concurrently, I was also like uh, just coming out of a tech assessment that I didn't do exactly so well because I was. Um, I, I got really stuck in uh, being able to like produce an output for the dictionary and et cetera. So I kind of ran away from that to be quite honest. Um, and to, to be very honest, um, I did also run away from the, like after I completed the first iteration of the, of the movie library, it was just like, okay, I got it done. I'm not able to show it in the perfect form. I just want to run away from it. Like I don't want to look at it for, for a little bit. So uh, did the pandas thing then I was really reaching out to a bunch of people um, that were in, uh, that were within the Python realm um, on, on Twitter just reaching out to them just letting them know that hey I just entered the field I just want some quick tips so um, so uh, so one person reached out um, and they and they mentioned that hey if you're going into data engineering you should really look into dbt um, so, so I just kind of like followed it, uh, just followed it. I was, I was going to say blindly, but I mean, I, I just followed it just to see what it's all about. Uh, check out a tutorial. Um, you can also find that on my, uh, GitHub, um, just, just to kind of get a scope of what, what it was. Um, although the tutorial itself was doing very simple stuff, um, I was able to follow along, but it was kind of like, okay, get the gist of it. But I know for a fact that I won't be using it for a while, so I'm probably going to forget it. But I'm good. But, but I'm glad that I got exposed to it just to see what else is out there. So now I am coming back. Just had a quick, um, a little bit panic just because I was like, okay, now I feel like I'm suddenly spread it out too thin. But I got to come back to the actual weaknesses. That I that I still have that I'm not so good at not so much of a weakness but that that, that I'm just not good at right now so which is honestly OOP like um hands down like sure I understand the basics of it but I still haven't been able to like now um just like progress through it and put and, and push through so my now goal is to uh, work on that and just a quick brief just if I end this video and post the next one um I'm gonna be creating a uh like it's basically an inventory system that, that like for instance, a store needs uh, in order to track all of the items it has within the, uh, among the within each item. It's probably gonna have a quantity of them, and then the of them, um, and then the price for it, price for each quantity, sorry per uh, per piece, and then as well as like the total uh, value, total value given the quantity. Um, for now, I'm keeping, it, I'm keeping it very, very simple, as you can see, um, just to kind of get it going. Cause, um, and my, my goal is to um, not only like so far I've, in OOP, I've really been I've gotten comfortable with making a constructor and call, uh, creating different instances. Um, but now I want to kind of crank, crank it up. Right? I want to start using static methods. I want to use class methods, class attributes. Um, um, getters and setters and all those and all like the thing and like ways to hide certain uh, attributes and, uh, and like private attributes, private functions, I think it's called. I don't even know. Like I just feel so um, lost suddenly just because spending a little bit of time away has kind of like almost evaporated that little bit of knowledge. So I'm going to try reinforcing that just by doing this. So 
this is what the plan is. I'm just going to create something very simple. And then I'm going to be referring to this video. Let me actually show you. It's from Free Code Camp. Um, it's going to be this video itself. If you guys want to watch it, uh, and follow along if you do. But I'm going to be following a lot of a lot of the things from, from here. I'm going to try my best to incorporate like anything different just to throw myself off and to really challenge myself. And this might be happening like in iterations just because it's not so much about memorization and like learning how to word by word code what I'm doing right now, but it's more so just reinforcing everything I learned and then doing it again and again. And I want to do it in a really well, like in an excellent way, just so that that practice being done in, in, in an excelling way only builds on uh, in a constructive way for me. So here we are. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.